Okay, so 1.3 is measuring and constructing angles. An angle is a figure formed by two rays or sides with a common end point called the vertex. So in this picture we have angle, we have ray RS and we have ray RT and they form an angle right here, this angle. R would be the vertex because it's the common end point. We name this angle either by the vertex, which would be angle R, by the vertex and the two points on the rays, which would be angle S R T. So we start at S, then we go to R, and then we go to T. Or we can name it by the number that's on the interior of the angle, which would be angle one. So all these three are three different names for the same angle. This blue part out here is the exterior of the angle, and the inside part, the yellow, is the interior of the angle. Think of interior, inside, exterior, outside. You can't name an angle by its vertex if, the ver if it's the vertex of two angles. So this angle, would have to be called B, A, C. So we have angle B, A, C. We have angle C, A, D, which is the one in blue. And we have angle B, A, D, which is the whole angle. To measure an angle, we measure in degrees. Since there are 360 degrees in the circle, one degree is equal to one 360th of a circle. So we'll get more into that as we go. The types of angles, we have an acute angle, which measures, measures greater than zero degrees and less than 90. A right angle, which measures exactly 90 degrees, an obtuse angle, which measures greater than 90 degrees and less than 180, and a straight angle that is formed by two opposite rays and measures 180 degrees. So what do we say two opposite rays make a straight line? So a straight line would be a straight angle at 180 degrees. Using a protractor, so we use a protractor to measure the degrees of an angle. So as you can see in this protractor, it's a semicircle, right? It's half a circle. So it's 180 degrees of a circle. If we had an angle that started at zero, and went to 50, and we called this angle we would name it A, B, C, and it's equal to 50 degrees. Would it be acute, right, obtuse, or straight angle? Acute. We had an angle. That started at zero. Angle L, M, K. This would be 90 degrees. What type of angle would this be? A right angle. We have another angle. Started at zero. 
and went to 130. And this was, we can call it, so angle A, D, B is equal to 130 degrees. And this would be obtuse. And the last one, we have an angle that starts at zero and goes to 180. And this would be? So those are four different types of angles. Yes. Because it's formed by two rays, so we could name this we can name them ABC again. So this would be angle ABC is equal to 180 degrees. The protractor postulate is pretty much the same as the ruler postulate that we went over yesterday. Given line AB and point O on AB, all rays that can be drawn from O can be put into a one-to-one -one correspondence with real numbers from zero to 80 degrees. If OC corresponds to C, so this little c corresponds to the degree of C, and OD corresponds with D, so the little d would correspond to D, the measure of angle DOC is equal to the absolute value of D minus C or C minus D. So we'll do some examples. <clears throat> Find angle AOD. So when we're using a protractor, we use the outside numbers. So what degree would A be at? So we would take the absolute value of 180 minus, what's D at? It's in between 10 and 20, so 15 degrees. And it would be equal to the absolute value of 165 degrees. So which would just equal 165 degrees. What type of angle would this be? Obtuse. Find angle COD. So now we're talking about COD. So when we read an angle, we start at C, then we go to O, and then we go to D. It's like drawing a map for us. Start at C, then go to O, then we go to D. So what's C at? So we take the absolute value of 105 degrees minus 15. 15 degrees, and that is the absolute value of 90 degrees, which is equal to 90 degrees, and this is a right angle. Use the diagram to find the angle measures, then classify them as acute, right, or obtuse. So first we have angle WXV. So W, we can see, is at 150 degrees. And then we subtract V, which is on 180 degrees. And we take the absolute value of that, which gives us the absolute value of negative 30 degrees. And we take the absolute value and we get angle WXV is equal to 30 degrees. And since 30 is less than 90 degrees, this would be an acute angle. Now let's look at angle ZXW. So we start at Z, go to X, 
and go to W. Z is at 50 degrees, so we take the absolute value of 50 minus W, which is at 150 degrees. We would get the absolute value of negative 100 degrees, which would give us angle Z X W is equal to 100 degrees. Since 100 is more than 90, this would be an obtuse angle. Congruent angles. Angles that have the same measure. Arc marks are used to show that two or more, two or more angles in the same drawing are congruent. So when we were dealing with lines, we used tick marks. In angles, we use arc marks. So this would be angle A, B, C is congruent to angle D, E, F. And we know that they're congruent because they have these arc marks in the middle. Angle addition postulate. If S is in the interior of angle PQR, then the measure of angle PQS plus the measure of SQR is equal to the measure of PQR. So this says that if we take this red angle, let's take the blue one, since it's met, it shows blue. So if we take the blue angle, RQS, and add PQS, then we get the whole angle RQP. So the measure of angle DEG, so we're talking about this whole angle here. DEG is 115, 115 degrees. The measure of angle DEF is 48 degrees. Find FEG. So we're trying to find this blue angle here. So we can call this X. So we know that if we take one of the interior angles plus the other, it equals the total. So we would do 48 degrees plus x is equal to 115. Now we just subtract 48 from both sides, and we get x is equal to 67 degrees. Example four, the measure of angle ABD is equal to 37 degrees. So let's look at ABD and we get 37 degrees. And the measure of angle ABC, so the whole angle here would be 84 degrees. Find the measure of angle DBC. So let's call DBC X. We would take 37 degrees plus X and set that equal to the total, which is 84 degrees. So now we solve for X. We can subtract 37 from both sides. We get X is equal to 47 degrees. So therefore, the measure of angle D, B, C is equal to 47 degrees. Angle bisector. So the angle bisector is a ray that divides an angle into two congruent angles. In this case, we have angle L, J, M, we're talking about this one, 
and we have JK that bisects it or cuts it in half. Just like we had bisects for bisectors for line segments, we have bis bisectors for angles. So this states that LJK, the angle inside here on the top, is congruent to KJM. Ray KM bisects JKL. The measure of angle JKM is equal to 4x plus 6. So we have JKM and this is 4x plus 6. And the measure of MKL is 7x minus 12. Since KM bisects JKL, we know that it cuts it in half, so therefore JKM is congruent to MKL. So we can set 4x plus 6 equal to 7x plus 12. Now we solve for x minus 12. So we have 18 is equal to 3x, divide both sides by 3, 6 is equal to x. Is that our answer? What's it asking for? J, K, M. So it's asking us for this one. So now we need to plug x into there. So we would do 4 times 6 plus 6 is equal to 30. So the measure of angle J, K, M is equal to 30 degrees. And that would be our answer. Find the measure of each angle. Q, S, Ray Q, S bisects PQR. So let's draw it. We
angle L M N and the measure of L M K is 52 the measure of K M N is 12 find the measure of angle L M N so we're looking for the measure of the whole thing Mm -hmm. So we would add them. And the measure of angle LMN is 64 degrees. Find their measure of each angle. JK bisects angle LMJ, LJM. So we have angle LJ. M. So it's important that the number, the letter in the middle of the angle is the letter in the middle of the angle here. Okay. JK bisects. So it cuts it in half. So we know that LJK is congruent to KJM. So we can put the arc marks there. The measure of angle LJK is negative 10x plus 3. And the measure of angle J, K, J, M is negative X plus 21. Find the measure of L, J, M. What do we do? So we know that they're congruent to each other, so we can set them equal to each other. Now we solve for x. So we have negative 18x is e negative 18 is equal to 9x, and we get x is equal to negative 2. So now we need to plug x in. What are we looking for? L, J, M. So the whole, we're looking for the whole angle, this. So we can plug X into both. So negative 10 times X plus three, 23. We would get for this one. And if we plugged X into K, J, M, negative 2, so 2 plus 21, 23 also. So now we would add those to find the total, and it would be the measure of angle LJM is equal to 46 degrees. Tell whether the angle is acute, right, obtuse, or straight. So angle X, T, U. Obtuse, because it's more than 90 degrees. Angle S, T, X. Acute, because it's less than 90. Angle W, T, U. Right angle. A right angle will always have this box there. And that box indicates that it's 90 degrees. And U, T, S. Straight angle. The measure of angle W, Y, Z is 2X minus 5. And the measure of angle X, Y, W is 3X plus 10. Find the value of X. So what do we do? X. Y. 
Well, it's a straight angle, so we know that straight angles are equal to 180 degrees. So now we add 3x plus 10 plus 2x minus 5, and we solve for x. So we have 180 degrees is equal to 5x plus 5. We can subtract the 5 from both sides. 175 is equal to 5x. Divide both sides by 5. And what do we get for x? What is it? 33. And that's it.